Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Alina and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this uh, elegant uh, stud earrings. It's a very easy stitch. You need around 5-10 minutes uh, to be over. They look like this on the back. We're going to glue this on the back of the earrings. The materials are uh, so few. You just need some 3 millimeter pearls and some uh, 50 no seed beads. So uh, I'm sure you have some of this in your stash. Also, you can replace the pearls with some uh, bicon crystals if you want to add more bling, but they look like this. So let's get started. Let's review the materials. You're going to need a beading thread, of course. Uh, I'm using Fireline 6LB crystal. You can use any, any beading thread you want. You're going to need some uh, 15 no seed beads some three millimeter pearls. I'm using um, this uh, Chaton crystal color, crystal foil. They are uh, eight millimeter. They are different from the Rivoli because they have a pointier back. They look like this. You're also going to need a beading needle, some glue. I'm using uh, E6000, that's special for jewelry making. And you're going to need some uh, earring post. Uh, it's best to use the cup shape. Let me show you why. Because of this shape, the crystal will um, sink perfectly with it. Um, I will show you a flat one, a earring post. It's looking like this. But as you can see, you cannot uh, you cannot glue it. So I suggest you use the the cup shape. So that's it. Let's get started. So start by adding around 86 centimeter of thread or 34 inches. You don't need the long thread. It's a very easy bezel. So we're going to pick up six pearls, three millimeter pearls and 15 no seed beads alternative. So one pearl, 150 no. We have one sequence. One pearl, another 50 no. This is the second one. Three, four, five, and six. So it's going to look like this. Now we're going to try to form the circle. We are going to go back through all the beads again. Leave a small tail, not very big. So I'm going through all the seed beads and the pearls we add earlier. And I want to make sure in the end I exit a 15 no. Let's form the circle first. Like this. We want just a little longer tail. Okay. And I want to exit a this is going to be the base of our bezel like this okay now we're going to pick up five 15 no's sorry seven one two three four five six seven we have seven 15 no beads and my thread is exiting, let me zoom, my thread is exiting this 50 no. we're going to go back through this pearl behind, like this, through the pearl, through the 50 no, and through the next pearl, so we're going to step up, so let's see, if it's uh, hard, you can just go through the pearl and the 50 no thread the beads and then go through another pearl. Let me show you. It'll, it's looking like this and now I want to step up so I will go through the next three millimeter pearl just like this. So now we're going to add the rows of uh, 50 nose around uh, each pearl like this each one of this pearl so we add seven but now we don't need to add seven because you want it to connect it with this one here so we're going to add five 
and we're going to use two from here it's like right angle weave it's a modified right angle weave unit so we're going to pick up five fifty no three four five just like this our thread is exiting this pearl we're going through this two fifty no here omit this one in the middle and go directly through this pearl that we exit now let me show you go through this two fifteen on here like this and through the pearl let's see and we're going to pull so now we have another unit here which shares these two beads with the previous unit like this okay so now we're going to step up again in order to do this we're going to go through this 50 you now and the next pearl so let's see 50 you no know, pearl just like this and again we're going to form another unit by picking up picking up five 50 you knows one two three four five and then we're going to go through this two 50 no from the previous unit like this ignore this in the middle go directly through the pearl just like this okay so now we're going to step up again in order to do this we're going to go through this 50 no and the next pearl so let's see 15 or pearl just like this and again we're going to form another unit by picking up picking up five 50 nose one two three four five let's see we're going back through this 250 no from the previous unit just like this then through the pearl we're going to omit this 50 no here let's see just like this we're going to pull and we're going to step up again going through a 50 no and another pearl now we're going to pull tight so this um extensions of 50 no they are going to sit down just like this just like a crown okay so pick up five 50 nose three four five we're going to do the same thing going through this two 50 no from here from the previous unit and the pearl like this let's see let's see if we can make it okay just like this and step up again as you can see it's a repetitive uh, process it's easy and fun to do at least for me i hope you enjoy it as well okay almost done let's pick up five more 50 nose four five and let's go through the last two 50 no here you can uh, uh, change the pearls with the um, bicons it will also look amazing i think i didn't try it yet so let me know if you did it and how it looks okay so now as you can see we have only one pearl left and now we're not going to add another one we're just going to go back through this to 15 now from the first unit we add just like this okay and then imagine we have two walls here there are 250 nose and here two so we're going to need only three 
because we need a number of seven fifty notes so two plus two four we need three more and i'm going to go through this two fifty note from the previous unit make sure you don't confuse it with this one in the middle just like this so we make a full circle so there you have it so now if we count we have let's see we have one two three four five six uh, arcades if i can call them like this and this this is um, the first layer of the bezel so now i'm going to try to cut this thread i'm going to put a needle and just wave my way around and meet you right back welcome back so i wave my tail already and let's check this thread it's exiting let's see it's exiting one of the seed beads right here you see so i want to exit one of this in the middle so i will go through this pearl just like this i will try to pull tight it's a small uh, bezel okay i'm going through this too like this i hope you can see it okay and then i'm just going through the first two we have like one two three four up i'm going through the first two just like this now we're going to enclose the bezel even more so we're going to pick up 350 no one two and three and we are exiting on this side we need to go through this in the middle just like this this 50 no in the middle so we make this columns even arcade sorry even more narrow like this three 50 no's okay pick up three more 50 no's okay let's see we're going through the this one in the middle just like this after i uh, i add two of this uh, seed beads two times i usually like to try to put my um, chaton inside of the bezel it will not be very uh, uh, straight and uh, narrow but it's okay so you want to put the crystal side uh, uh, down on the pearls so like this how is it like this and i'm trying to just squeeze it in <laughs> it will give you a little give us a little bit more uh, robust uh, feeling so now i'm going to continue and i'm going to pick up three more 50 nodes just like this i'm exiting here i will go through this 50 no okay uh press with your thumb the chaton all the time and pull tight okay pick up three more 50 no's one two three going through this one in the middle like this okay pull as you can see it's starting to narrow if it's trying to come out just press it down okay pick up three more 50 nose okay going through this one right here mm -hmm. let's see how many we need to add one more so 350 nose and i'm going through this let's see which one is the one in the middle i'm going through this one like this now after we add three we're going to add only one so let's see pick up 150 no go through the one in the middle like this 
and keep pulling tight okay pick up another 15 now go through this one okay another 15 now go through this one it's kind of uh, standing out okay another 15 now go through this one yeah in the last one and go through the middle one like this so this is the last one and what we can do now it's going to reinforce all this so you have to go through all this seed beads again just like this let's see you can skip one if you want like go through this one the one we just had now go again through all of them just like this if you feel the bezel it's uh, still loose a little bit you can uh, reinforce by going through all the seed beads again i will show you in a minute I'm just going to reinforce like this keep going one or two times and also you can go through all these beads through the pearl and keep doing like this all the way around to reinforce the bezel so do this and come back to go through the next step one more thing i wanted to mention as you can see i have two bezels here this one i um I tied it more and you can see the tip of the chaton just a little bit this one was a little bit more loose and we have more crystal uh, showing here so in our case I think the best is to make it like this not super super tight let me tell you why I have this four millimeter stud base if I put it like this it's a perfect match if i try to glue it here it will be just like this just like a cup look like this and then you can uh, go through all the beads again and reinforce it if you make it super tight from the beginning it's not going to fit inside so it's not going to uh, be the crystal uh, glue directly to this part it will be on the beads and i think it's uh, in uh, in the future it can uh, break so i don't think it's a good idea also uh, if you it's not a problem for you you can use a bigger one a uh, bigger cup like six millimeter and you can cover this layer of beads uh, but me i think it's look uh, i prefer this version because it looks cute and you can see all the work and all the seed beads so see what materials you have and uh, go for it also if you have a gold one also i think it will look better with the uh, colors we chose but since i don't have i will use this uh, silver one so let's glue it now i'm going to use uh, e6000 plus i have a paper here i'm just going to put a little bit i like to use a toothpick i don't know if it's a good idea <laughs> but this is my method i'm just going to take a little bit and just put it on this the silver one the best part with the e6000 if you make a mistake it's okay uh, it needs 24 hours to dry so you still can uh, repair your mistakes if you make some and i'm just going to try to put it here inside of the bezel let's see just like this and then i'm going to place it like this and don't move for 24 hours so there you have it we are done super fast and easy i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and if you do please don't forget to hit the like button it means a lot to me and stay safe and see you next week bye bye